What is up, nerds? It is Reptile DIY here again. And today, I'm going to show you how to save your toxic relationship. More specifically, I'm going to show you how to turn any glass bottle into a flower vase for Valentine's Day. So let's get this shit started. <laughs> All right, guys, I know your partner has already given you out one too many chances. But after you give them this 40 ounce flower vase, their heart will be melted. And hopefully you can persuade them to give you your band shirts back. So let's talk about supplies. Supplies are very straightforward with this project. First and foremost, you are going to need a glass bottle. Personally, I'm going to use a 40 ounce bottle. Now, if your partner loves your liver cirrhosis and alcoholic tendencies, you might want to choose their favorite a bottle of liquor. And before I get ahead of myself, if you're one of those people, alcoholics, that love to decorate their living spaces with empty bottles of liquor, this project is right up your alley as it will spruce up and give your home that nice, warm, homey vibe. You are also going to need a lighter or a source of fire. Your next supply is going to be some sandpaper. I like to use some medium grit and work down to some light grit. You're also going to need some rubbing alcohol. Next up, you're going to need yarn, a piece of paracord, a piece of string. It doesn't really matter. You'll also need a reservoir. I'm going to use a bucket of water. But hey, if you've got a toilet, that'll work just as well. Another important item that you're going to need is some flowers. Now you could steal some flowers from your local supermarket, but they're just as free if you walk down the rich people's neighborhoods. Me personally, I'm going to be using some leftover Halloween flowers that are black because my partner is very spooky and I'm very cheap. All right, all right. So your first step is to post up in front of some OG Impala and sip on that 40 like it's 1994 again. Once that 40 ounce is nice and empty, the real work begins. And you're really going to want to look at your bottle every bottle is different for these uh mickey's 40 ounces they have like a wide edge at the top this is important because you always want to break your glass on a flat surface or a flat edge you never want to break it on like a flanged area you see that flange right there don't break it on that flange break it just below it in that flat part of the bottle as you can see i took a yellow paint marker and lined out where i'm going to break it so the next step is that i'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and take whatever sort of yarn, paracord, in my case I'm using some hemp I believe, and you're gonna pour your rubbing alcohol into a small bowl and just submerge whatever sort of cord, yarn that you're using. You want it to be completely soaked in with the alcohol. And here we go, you can see it's nice and soaked in and ready to go. All right, all right. So I took my alcohol soaked cord and I tied it around on that yellow line. Remember how I said you don't want to put it on the flange, but you want it to wrap around just below. Very important depending on the bottle type that you are using. Now guys, it is important to note that you might want to have another bottle of the same bottle that you're going to turn into a vase, just in case it breaks during this next step. So here's my bucket of water. You can use any water basin. You can even use a toilet if your toilet water goes up high enough. Next up, you're going to take your lighter you are going to light your alcohol soaked cord. You are going to want to make sure that your cord is completely lit all the way around and you're going to let it burn. You are also going to want to make sure that your basin of water is directly in front of you when you start this process. And also you're going to want to wear some eye protection because nothing is more punk rock than personal safety gear. Anyway, I let my bottle burn for about 5, 10, 15 seconds. I don't really know. Every time it's different, 15 seconds sounds like a good deal. Then you dunk it and it just cracks along that line. And here we go. It's a nice crack. It's not always a nice crack. If you mess up sometimes, just redo it with a different bottle. But anyway, you end up with a cylindrical a reservoir as well as a funnel shape. So this next step is very important unless you're a complete asshole that wants to cut up your partner. You are going to want to take your sandpaper and just rub around those edges, the inside and the outside and the inner edge. It's all very important. And when you're doing this, make sure you're wearing uh, gloves. I'm not wearing gloves. Don't follow me. Do as I say and not as I do. Just like my mama always told me. Anyway, you're going to want to sand that down. And honestly, if you're going to do this like multiple times, make sure you're wearing a respirator or at least a mask because you do not want to inhale any of these glass particles. Now, if you want your edges to be really nice and clean and neat, you're going to want to start with a medium sandpaper and work down to thinner and thinner sandpaper. The cool thing about sanding these glass bottles down thinner and thinner is that the edges are really soft so you can actually use these to drink out of like if you want to take a bunch of your old bottles and turn them into drinking glasses this is how you do it but honestly they make really cheap glass cutting tools at this point so you don't even need to do it this way but you know it's just something cool if you want to repurpose glass to make drinking glasses I am all about anti-consumerism and upcycling secondhand materials that would otherwise get thrown in the trash 
But anyway, at this point, your flower vase, or your flower vase for you Walmart people out there, is pretty much done. Now if you want, you could write a cute message on one side with a paint marker. For example, I'm sorry I'm such a disappointment. Please give me my band shirts back. Or whatever band lyric that you've already dedicated to three different exes. As long as it fits on the other side of the 40 ounce, you're in the gold, pony boy. Now just throw some flowers that you stole, or you found, or that you acquired. And put them directly into your glass vase. And your partner is going to love it. Because if you are dating in the punk scene, even the bare minimum effort will put you ahead and strides above the competition. Anyway, guys, this was just a fun, silly little video showing you how to make a punk rock Valentine's Day gift for your partner. If you enjoyed this video, I would highly recommend that you check out my legitimate DIY tutorials when it comes to punk rock, goth, and alternative fashion. And while you're at it, click this link to watch a tutorial on how to turn at your bottle caps into band buttons and hit that button down below as always uh, have a uh, merry valentine's day nerds